Okay, folks, I've just spent an evening configuring my Ubuntu server. Here is the machine itself. We've now got the second drive in there, one terabyte drive with all the data, videos, documents, music on. I'll probably split them out, I'll probably put another one in and split it between media and documents and photos, I think, at some point. Um, this is going to go in the cupboard. This is the existing server at the moment, the FreeNAS server, so that's going to be swapped out. And we are almost ready to do that. And uh, what we're looking at here on the screen, uh, using Putty, we can actually get into the server. So um, its server edition of Ubuntu is completely, completely command line based, as I said. Um, and it's been fun actually getting to grips with the command line and being able to do a lot of the configuration this way but there's still some things that you can you can use visually obviously now we've set up the the samba shares and um, we can see them in windows this is the freenas server and if i just select server on here and then uh, media share there we go everything is viewable in a windows so i'll click on movies or something there we go all sorts of stuff there so, there's no reason now for me to not swap these over because everything is there. Um, as I say, I can use Putty to um, configure and install. If you want to install ML packages or configure anything, we can. But also, you, if you set up um, X11 in Putty and install Xming on your computer and have that running, when you launch something like, say, Thunder, which is a um, kind of a file manager, you see, you can still have a uh, visual representation of what's going on if you want. So it, it's one of those things where it doesn't have a GUI, but if an application does have a, a GUI in it, um, using Xming um, will allow your Windows machine to open that GUI. So you've got another way of getting in there. Um, and a third way is to use something called Webmin, which I also installed, um, which means I can access uh, the system through the browser. So there are some things that we can do on here. We can, we can upload files, though there's probably no point. We can do that using Windows. But it allows you to um, uh, monitor various things, see what's going on. Um, I don't know, give you a system. I've got it on the boot up shit down at the moment, so that's telling me what is actually what services are starting at boot, what services are running now, um, various bits and bobs. So there's there's various ways of getting into it, even though um, it's not going to be attached to a monitor, obviously, with it being a server, and even though it's command line based. So the thing to do now, really, is just to configure my HTPC so that it will look at the um, the new server by default rather than the old one. So we'll we'll just pop over to that and we'll. Um, We'll see if we can get that set up. Okay, so at the moment, if I select videos on Media Portal on the server, okay, um, it actually defaults to something called shared videos. It doesn't do it actually because I've been playing about. But this is the default folder, shared videos. So this is looking on my FreeNAS server. Okay, but what I want it to do is look. Um, at the new folder that I've created um, on the new server. So, um, it's a simple thing that we can do. Um, first of all, we need to exit from Media Portal. Um, and we go into the Media Portal configuration screen. more Windows updates available. Always seems to be the case when I go into this, there are some Windows updates available. Okay, so if we go into the Videos option and Video Folders, okay, we have a list of various folders. Well, if you can really see them on there, you can see the Shared Videos FreeNAS Data Videos is ticked because that is the default folder. That's all we need to add a folder, and we're going to have to browse for it. 
on the network. I'm hoping it will find it. Network server media share. videos. That's the one. And uh, we will call that one exactly what it is. Media share. We can OK that. We'll actually select that one as a default option. OK that. So now when we go into Media Portal, I'm just trying to balance the keyboard on my uh, leg here while holding the camera. I really need to get myself. Well, I do have a tripod, but I just couldn't be bothered to get a tripod out, to be honest. So, launch back into Media Portal. And uh, select videos. There we go. It's actually listed my videos, but you probably wouldn't know if that is the default folder. There it is, media share. And it's in. It works. So now we are looking at the new server rather than the old one. That's great. So that's it really. Um that's my server video completed. Um and let's say uh, really it's as simple as that. I'm just gonna um probably try and get it fixed as a print server. Um, need to do a little bit more investigation on how to get cups and server to work on that. Um, and we'll see what we do. So anyway, thank you very much for your interest and thanks for